Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be disassembling the speed transmission and removing the torque amplifier uh, from the transmission we just pulled out of this uh, 1066. Uh, if you didn't see the last video go check it out. I'll link it up above. First thing I want to do is uh, build a little stand to uh, set this transmission down onto. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that we got our stand built, we'll go ahead and uh, set it right down on there and make sure it's secure. We got it sitting down on there, uh, pretty secure. I'm gonna leave the chain hoist hooked up to it, you know, just for safety. Main reason I wanted to build the stand just so when we're loosening everything up and jarring it, you know, it's not swinging around or anything. Uh, so it's a little more stable, you know. But I'm gonna keep the chain hoist hooked up to it. Do not want any of this stuff falling on you because it will hurt. Alrighty. Well, here you go. So let's go ahead and start uh, tearing it apart. Well, that came out easier than I thought it was going to. All right. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're about to remove the main shaft, the speed transmission main shaft here. If you ever wonder what it looked like inside there, here you go. Thank you. 
As you just seen, we uh, removed the clutch fork and assembly, uh, the PTO drive shaft, and next we're going to be going toward the back of this transmission and removing the counter shaft. Right down in here, we've got to remove this nut. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can tell, it's a different day. I had to order this socket here on Amazon. Uh, I didn't have a big enough socket. It's a two and three quarter inch socket. So I got this thing from Amazon less than 24 hours. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get this nut off now. Go ahead and try to get this shaft out of here. It looks like it's pretty loose to me, so. As I pulled those gears off that shaft, I went ahead and stacked them up the way I pulled them off. So this is kind of what it looks like inside your transmission there. Here's the counter shaft. Thread it in so it goes like, like that. You can see all the way through there now. You almost got her licked. Now we can finally pull this torque amplifier out. So next thing we gotta do is loosen these bolts here. Uh, pull these three hydraulic tubes you can see in there. We got three hydraulic tubes running through there. We have to pull them out. They're held in by O-rings. You can see them. One, two, three. And then the four bolts back here and we can pull this thing out. Well, there you go. Here's those three hydraulic tubes all pulled out right there. You just gotta watch out. It's when you're sticking your hands in there, you kind of catch you up a little bit. It's pretty sharp edges on that casting, so just keep that in mind if you're working on it. Now let's uh go ahead and pull the rest of the bolts out of the TA unit and we're gonna have to uh, flip it around and pull it out straight up so. All right, we'll go ahead and we got to beat these little tabs back here on this metal locking ring. All right, we got that. Let's go ahead and bust these bolts loose here. <clears throat> there we 
there we go there if you can see in there um uh, manual says to put a bolt thread a bolt into the back of this shaft you see through this hole to keep the ta unit all in one piece when you pull it out so the 5 16th thread and bolt need to be about two and a quarter inches long i got a fender washer on there also let's go ahead and put that on there and snug it down just like that and we'll go ahead and set this transmission up on its rear end so we can pull this uh, TA unit straight up. As you can see, it worked really good with uh, this gantry crane and the chain hoist and that trolley. You know, when I was lifting and letting this transmission down, the trolley let it just slide back as I was letting it down. So it just went right down on there really good. So now we're gonna go ahead and knock them bolts out uh, and pull this, finally get this TA out of here so let's go ahead and get to it all right got them bolts out now we need to put an eye bolt it's a 3 8 thread eye bolt we'll go ahead and thread it down into this input shaft that way we can hook up the chain hoist to it and pull it straight up it up just like so and there we have it Finally got to pull it out of there. If you ever wondered what it looked like, well, there it is. Let me go ahead and get this moved over to the bench and we'll take a closer look at it. Well, there we have it, sitting on the bench. Go ahead and see if I can pull this top plate off here. Yeah, that ain't good. If anyone's ever taken one of these apart, why don't you uh, comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching today's video. If uh, this helped you out at all, uh, give me a like down below and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. I'm gonna be uh, more than likely getting a rebuild TA. I might take a video of taking this old one apart and seeing what it looks like inside. So just stay tuned and we'll see you next time.